everybody. It's good to see you again this afternoon. Uh, it is a beautiful day here in Kentucky. Uh, fall is here, I hope. I hope it's here to stay. A nice sunshiny day. Uh, great if you want to go out and pick your pumpkins or get ready for Halloween outside. Uh, Louisville is a huge Halloween city. I don't really participate that much. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, in Halloween anymore. I don't have any small children here and we don't have any trick-or-treaters come by where we live. So uh, it's just another day. Uh, so we really don't get involved but you can drive through the city and there are whole neighborhoods that go out of the way that uh, to decorate for Halloween. It is really something to see. Uh, but I, it's neighborhoods that are younger people I think and then they come to these neighborhoods by the droves to do their trick-or-treating. They haul their children in to trick-or-treat in these certain neighborhoods that I'm talking about. So I really find that amusing. But anyway, I wish y'all uh, a very good day today. I am enjoying my day. And this is uh, a new share that I need to do with you. Uh, this is Riley. Riley with my southern accent that is one name that is hard for me to say but I wanted to do it for Dawn. Dawn's uh, daughter is her name is Riley and I, she had commented on my um, more masculine names that I did in the last video and and I told her and she suggested Riley which is her daughter's name and I said absolutely she'll be my next uh, journal that I, I share and so this is going to be Riley and Riley is another uh, craft text uh, cover I meant to bring over that sample where you could where I can show it to you but it's just like a faux leather I was thinking last night in my sleep it's just like a faux leather uh, it's very durable and you can do anything with it but it's durable durable just like leather but it is man-made and she has this gorgeous uh, royal blue uh, sari silk which is a new new uh, color for me. I ordered it in just to go with this uh, journal so I had to wait for it to come. I got it from Etsy and so let's take a look at the cover. This is just a loose loosely tied ribbon on her where you can take it off and not use it if you didn't want to. The cover has lace around this real delicate white uh, cotton lace and it's been sewn in this special uh, stitching of leaf. It looks like a leaf. It's on my, it's an embroidery stitch and it's all the way around. It has uh, this beautiful vibrant uh, floral botanical print here on the front that is layered on top of a navy royal uh, cardstock edged in a black to make it stand out more and even your uh, underneath here has been painted uh, a royal blue with a little bit of a green in it I think you can see it here it's hand painted by me and uh, just to match all of everything that's going to be inside um, and this is from a cardstock um, pack. Uh, it's called European cardstock, and all the colors are vibrant like this. I just love the colors in it. And then on the it's a six by nine. And let's see how many pages Riley has. Uh, she has 140 pages, three signatures. She's got a two inch spine that's been sewn in the same in a regular uh, stitch here and then the leaf stitch here and it's two pieces of 100% uh, cotton fabrics one is the dark blue and then I wanted to offset that with this lighter blue that sort of blends in with this color here and then in the back is another coordinating uh, floral botanical look and here you can actually see the hand painting of the green and the blues more easily. Can you see that? Yeah. And then the two stitches. Here's the leaf stitch 
and here's another very special embroidery stitch going all the way around and like I said she's 140 pages and I spelt the name R-E-I-L-L-Y and so let's open her up and take a look uh, here is the uh, painting of the uh, craft text on the inside and then you, let me get it back in there you go and then you have this uh, stamped uh, uh, envelope here with the correct colors on it to blend with everything and then you have this beautiful card that goes in there these are the ones that I got from Amazon they're really pretty and you can uh, use them now the envelope is glued down but you have a tuck spot right here I put this little piece of paper here to remind me to show it to you this is cardstock uh, right there so I'm just going to leave that there and you can see the stitching on the inside here right this this little bit right here I did a little bit uh, where you could see it inside of the leaf embroidery stitch and then this is uh, decoupaged underneath the uh, envelope and then on this side you have this gorgeous uh, vintage lace I think it's two and a half or three inches wide and I have it just hanging over the page slightly made a pocket that's anchored by two blue buttons that's been sewn on and then inside you have uh, these beautiful cards this is M medieval mirage you're going to see me scattering in her stuff throughout some of my journals but I thought it just went beautiful and then here is the paper this is what the paper it's all the European botanical flowers supposedly is what all these papers are and they have a beautiful feel it's like a linen silk linen feel but they are cardstock and then each you have the a lot of lace it's a very feminine sweet journal you have a lot of lace uh, edgings you have lace uh, tags that have been doubled and glued together to make a heavy tag you have fabrics coming out you have burlap and lace you have so many things of interest coming out of these pages so I just wanted you to see what it looks like from the side there you go and then we'll just move right on oh it's clipped together here we undo that and then you have uh, washi tape and here you can see the ta tab and this was just clipped on. What it is is a very hard cardstock. You can use it as a uh, like a writing board underneath the pages if you wish. Uh, it's just some verbiage uh, cardstock on that side that's been sewn, a little bit of beige paint, and on this side is your uh, two pockets with some hand painted. Uh, cardstock well this is actually a uh, watercolor paper and then you have this beautiful white that you can do your own decoupaging on and it's also the heavy watercolored paper and you can see the sewing going around a little bit of distressing with some beige paint acrylic paint and so I just clip it here but you can move it anywhere whoever purchases this journal can move it anywhere they wish and then you have some uh, coffee stain paper with a little bit of fabric, a little bit of rickrack, and a pocket, and then this uh, tag that I made. Uh, and this is some of Tracy Fox's uh, Love Junk, junk Journal's uh, ephemera. And these, this tag is on uh, watercolor paper that I've cut out, reinforced the hole. And then this is some uh, crochet thread like I said like you're going to see a lot of lace and here is another tag that I made out of a book page a, a picture that was in a book on all of the tags in here are going to be the art uh, watercolor paper which is a heavy 
cardstock. All of them have been reinforced with the little uh, distressed reinforced protector, hole protectors, and all of them are going to have either uh, crochet thread or, sorry, silk. And this cute little diagonal pocket here has been uh, hand sewn uh, this button on with a little bit of burlap and lace. Love the colors in this paper. Rounded corners, stamping, another one of the hand painted uh, cardstock papers, watercolor papers. So when you see this color combination in here, you know that I did it. And I've rounded the corners and then I put it in this pocket. Uh, same paper that you saw in the front with burlap, a hand sewn white button attached. And then here is an envelope with another one of those cards. I won't take it out because you know what they look like uh, by now. But it's a beautiful two side inside clear, pardon me, white card. And this looks like vintage wallpaper to me. Another pocket here, burlap and lace. Some book paper. Look at that design in that coffee stain. An envelope that's trimmed in some of the paper. Another tab. Some of that cotton uh, fabric edging the, the page. More of the fabric with three little white buttons sewn in this diagonal pocket. And another uh, book page uh, tag that I made and I put some blue acrylic paint on it. And this is one of Tracy Fox's little uh, cutouts that you can get in one of her packs. And I just keep a clip there to keep it in there. And you can see the blue underneath separating the now on this one, uh, I have some of that uh, glitter glue that, that gives you this clear three-dimensional three shininess. I don't know. Can you? I can't. There it is. And then a diagonal fabric, a uh, little decoupage here with a hand crocheted uh, little flower and a yellow button sewn with that blue thread. I use that blue thread throughout, so you're going to see it because uh, it goes so well with all these colors. The blue, this is really like a blue theme botanical journal. I don't know what that is. Must have just folded it up where you could write under it. Yep. It's a white cardstock that you can just lift up. And here we have another journaling card. We have a natural linen fabric with the blue rickrack that looks really good on this. This coffee stain paper has some of the best swirls in it that I think that I have seen. Another big envelope, and this is that real heavy cardstock. 
Now I left this in here a long time ago. I bought this paper. This this came from Michaels. Uh, it's a, like a green uh, vintage newsprint paper, and it cost 59 cents back then for the 12 by 12 sheet. And I thought, well, that was really cute. I'm just going to leave it there. I could have covered it up with a pocket or uh, washi tape, but I didn't. I wanted. To, I thought it was another added interest. Two fabrics. Another one of my uh, tags that have evidently been glued in there. Let me see if I can get it out. There you go. Sometimes I'll put it in there way too soon. But I got some gesso and blue paint on a book page and another one of Tracy Fox's uh, little uh, ephemeras. And another pretty pocket over here with some of that beautiful lace and some blue rickrack. And then I sewed on a uh, yellow button. And let me, because now you can take that out. You can write right there. Little decoupaging there, fabric and uh, cardstock. And look at that. Hmm. I get so impressed with the designs that this coffee staining can do to paper. What nice fall colors, right? Reminds you of pumpkins and fall and very pretty fabric and rickrack and a big piece of lace here and this looks like winter to me which you know comes after fall so another one of those tags fabric, an orange sewn button, oh it's another one of those envelopes. So you've got a button and fabric and a, a sewn button, fabric, a pocket, rickrack, and I love these strings hanging down. You can see them all th throughout the, the ends of it. And then another one of those cards attached that you can journal on. And here's one of those cards. Fabric and a washi tape. These buttons just fit right in, I thought. And then this lace. This is this trim. Another one of those book page uh, tags that has some uh, gesso and some blue paint on it, on this layered decoupage little diagonal pocket. I know you saw all the stamping, so I don't have to say stamping. And this is a another pocket area. Some journaling space there. And then here is a cardstock khaki color. Now you can move these clips or you can use them, you know, like I'm doing. A little bit of fabric coming down that hangs out. Another side pocket there with this flower coming out. It's 
So we have some fabric underneath the pocket protruding out and then we have this lace on this side. I think all the colors just go beautifully together. And here's another one of those tags with another little hand crocheted flower and a little white button sewn in. And here is a good look at that leaf embroidery pattern that I found on my machine. And this is the back that you have seen. But now here is the all of the stuff, you know, the strings from the tags and, and the buttons mainly from the buttons the tags could come out all out here in the front but a lot of them I threw back down into the journal and you saw the the sides but now if you wanted to on those tags you could bring all the strings out up to the top this has the real rough uh, fringes going on so this is Raleigh Raleigh and 140 pages uh, she's really a beautiful six by nine journal. And Dawn, I hope you enjoyed it. Raleigh, I hope Riley. I never say the name right, but I'm sorry. But you know I'm thinking about you. And I uh, hope that you enjoyed the video. It's a real sweet journal, which I would well, look, my sorry silk just broke. But I still got plenty left. Uh, enjoyed uh, the journal that's named after you and so I will talk to you guys later you have a wonderful afternoon and uh, thank you so much for watching take care bye bye